Y'all are gonna judge me for this. <laughs> So I've never been quiet about my hatred toward magnetic lashes. I did a pretty scathing review here on the channel of a pair last year. And releasing. <sighs> that just kind of reaffirms my opinion that we need to stop trying to make magnetic lashes happen, people. I knew that magnetic lashes were a good idea, but brands just could not execute it right. Today I'm revealing my secret. The past several videos that you've seen me wear false lashes in, They've been magnetic lashes. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, I'm Miranda. Welcome back to my channel where I talk all things budget, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. So today I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts and comparing the original Moxie Lash Magnetic Liner and Lashes and the more affordable Ardell Magnetic Liner and Lashes. Stay tuned. All right, let's talk about the original and much more expensive version of this product from Moxie Lash. I remember seeing the ads on Facebook and thinking, oh my gosh, they did it. They fixed the problems. Because the main problems that I had and why I hated magnetic lashes were that they would constantly lift up at each corner. The band wasn't flexible or curved enough to actually lay down on the lash line. And they would just kind of drift off of my lash line throughout the day until they were just hanging on to the tips of my natural lashes. So the idea of magnetic liner addressed both those issues and I was intrigued. But I'll admit I did not buy this product right away because it was so hella expensive. So thank God they sent me some to test out because otherwise this video would not be happening. So the prices of the Moxie lashes, you can get a kit with one pair of lashes and one liquid eyeliner for $75. You can buy the liquid liner alone for $45. They also have a gel liner version for $35. And if you wanna buy a pair of lashes alone, those are also $35. Now recently at Sally Beauty, I discovered that there is an affordable dupe of the Moxie Lash product, and that is the new Ardell Magnetic Liner and Lash Kit. So these do come in different styles of lashes, and they are basically the same styles that Ardell carries in traditional lashes. One kit will cost you between $16 and $20, depending on where you get it, and you can buy the liner individually for $10, but they do not sell lashes individually. So I actually tried the Ardell lashes first, and one of my first impressions was that the liner was a little bit tricky. It's a very thick and sticky formula and I had a hard time using it to create my entire eyeliner look with my whole wing and everything. So after testing this for a couple days, I discovered that for me the best way to use this was to actually do my liner normally with my go-to NYX Matte Liquid Liner and then stamp this really close to my lash line just to create that magnetic strip of liner. I felt that method to also be the most comfortable because like I said, this is a very thick formula. It's also waterproof, so it can be hard to take off. The only thing that I own at home right now that removes this is the Physician's Formula Matcha Cleansing Balm. That definitely helps dissolve it, but even still, I'm kind of massaging it in for a little bit. But the fact that it's waterproof is also a good thing because you don't want your liner to wear off and then have your lashes fall off. But did they work? So I can confidently say that there was actually really no learning curve with these. The lashes snap on to the liner really well and they did not move all day. I went outside, I ran errands, and there was no lifting, there was no drifting. They stayed on my lash line. So overall, despite the liner, which is a little hard to work with, I was very happy with the results of the Ardell lashes, especially compared to magnetic lashes I had tried in the past. Now this week, I've been testing out the original, the Moxie Lash liner and lashes. So right off the bat, I was very, very pleased with the fact that they had a liquid version of their magnetic liner. They also have the gel, but I think having both options is really important because it's just a preference thing. I always use liquid eyeliner in my normal makeup routine, so that is what's familiar to me, so I liked having that choice. However, the texture of this liquid eyeliner is much less liquid than it is creamy. So again, I found it kind of hard to get a precise line with it, and I did end up just doing the same thing I did with the Ardell liner, stamping it over my normal liquid liner. And the thing is, is that even if you're not trying to get a precise wing, I would probably suggest that method anyway, because for $45 a tube, I don't wanna be creating my whole eyeliner look with this and 
waste it on parts of my eyeliner, like my wing, that my lashes aren't going to be connected to. But with that said, the Moxie liner does apply a lot more smoothly and dries down to be less shiny than the Ardell liner. I have also discovered that the Moxie Lash liner is indeed stronger in terms of its magnetic properties than the Ardell liner. And the way that I tested that out was I put both brands of lash over each liner. And with both brands of lashes, they kind of pulled a lot stronger to this liner. But the Moxie Lash liner was not as smear proof as the waterproof Ardell liner. And like I said earlier, despite the Ardell liner maybe being quote unquote weaker, it still hung on to my lash all day without any moving around or lifting. So. As far as the actual lashes from Moxie Lash goes though, they're definitely more luxe looking. I'm not sure about all of the styles, but on their website, some of them say that they're 100% mink. Probably not a cruelty-free or vegan brand, just something to think about. Some of the Moxie Lash styles are also a lot wider than others, and I would be nervous about trimming these to size because then you're trimming off a magnet. And there are only so many ways you can actually trim a magnetic lash because you always need a magnet on the outer corner. They're smaller lashes, work better for me though. Today I'm wearing the sassy style. Now one thing I really appreciated from Moxie Lash, although I don't know if I appreciate it like 35 more dollars worth, is that their original packaging that the magnetic lashes come in have magnets to hold the lashes in place. So you can end up using the box for safekeeping, store your lashes like this. The Ardell packaging does not have magnets in them. They hold the lashes down with a little sticky dot. So this isn't really reusable for lash storage. You kind of have to figure it out on your own. So I know all that comparing is a lot to take in, but at the end of the day, the lashes from both brands stayed on, so I personally have a hard time justifying the Moxie Lash price, just for my budget. I kind of like the Moxie Lash styles better, but I'm gonna be repurchasing the Ardell liner when it comes time to, because that's what's in my budget. So now that I have found magnetic lash products that actually work for me, and that I have been using consistently, do I think that these are better to use than and glue on lashes, kind of. Like I said, I've been wearing either of these brands almost every day for the past two weeks-ish, and it's so much easier to put on. It streamlines your routine if you do wanna incorporate false lashes. You don't need to be as precise with placement as you do with glue, because obviously with glue, if you hit the wrong place on your lid, like it's over. But if you're just laying down your liner as usual and then just popping the lash on, I mean, it's just so much less nerve wracking and in general quicker. And as you saw, I use my fingers with these because you don't need to be so precise. You don't need to like get up in there all surgically with your tweezers and you also have a chance to like peel them off and put them back on if you didn't quite line them up right the first time where with glue on lashes that can be difficult you have to start layering glue and everything so because they're both easier and quicker to apply I feel like this is a great option if you do like wearing falsies every day and the fact of the matter is these lashes are supposed to last you a very long time much longer than the disposable lashes which you can get maybe three to four uses out of if you're very careful so as long as you take care of these and you're just replacing the liner every so often, it could also end up being cheaper than buying disposable lashes. Have you tried magnetic liner and lashes yet? Let me know in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Rasia. Thanks for being such an awesome Slash Squad member. And join me over in this video next, which was my last magnetic lashes review, which was a total fail. I'll see you over there. Bye.